Our top focus story on this special broadcast. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal announced his decision to quit as the Chief Minister in the next 48 hours. And this has sparked off an intense political drama in the national capital. The BJP ramped up its attacks on Arvind Kejriwal, calling the resignation a gimmick aimed not just at reviving his tarnished image, but the party's fortunes. BJP leaders have accused Arvind Kejriwal of being involved in the Delhi liquor scam, calling this a desperate bid to make someone else the scapegoat as the party, according to the BJP, faces a possibility of losing upcoming elections in the national capital. Arvind Kejriwal also insisted that his former Deputy Chief Minister, Manish Sisodia, also then Education Minister of Delhi, will also not return to the Delhi cabinet. He too will return as minister only after what they see as a referendum on their honesty. Only if the people of Delhi vote Arvind Kejriwal and Manish Sisodia back to power will they return as ministers and chief minister. The Aam Admi Party will have a legislature party meeting to decide who the next chief minister would be in the next 48 hours. With Arvind Kejriwal's resignation imminent, five months before his tenure ends, speculation is also mounting. Who will lead Delhi? Will it be Atishi or will it be, as the BJP puts it, Arvind Kejriwal trusting only his wife, Sunita Kejriwal? But let me first get you what Arvind Kejriwal said and how both the Congress and the BJP are calling his decision to quit a poll gimmick. जब तक ये मैं कोर्ट से बरी होके ना आ जाऊं तब तक मैं सीएम की कुर्सी पे नहीं बैठूंगा उन्होंने कहा जी ये 10 साल चलेगा केस कोई कह रहा है 15 साल चलेगा केस कोई कह रहा है 20 साल चलेगा केस तो केस ये अभी लंबा चलेगा आज कोर्ट जितना कर सकता था कोर्ट ने हमारे पक्ष में निर्णय लिया है हमें बेल दे दी उन्होंने ऐसे कानून में जिसमें बेल मिलनी नामुमकिन होती है दो दिन के बाद आज से दो दिन के बाद मैं सीएम की कुर्सी से इस्तीफा देने जा रहा हूं और मैं तब तक सीएम की कुर्सी पे नहीं बैठूंगा जब तक जनता अपना फैसला ना सुना दे अगर आप मेरे को वोट देके जिताओगे और अगर आप कहोगे कि केजरीवाल ईमानदार है तो चुनाव के बाद उसके बाद जाके मैं सीएम की कुर्सी पे बैठूंगा तब तक मैं सीएम की कुर्सी पे नहीं बैठूंगा आज उनका इस्तीफा देने की घोषणा ये मात्र दिखावा है क्योंकि सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने उनको ऑलरेडी मुख्यमंत्री पद से हटा दिया है अगर कोर्ट कहती है कि आप फाइल साइन नहीं कर सकते ऑफिस नहीं जा सकते इट मींस कि यू आर नो मोर चीफ मिनिस्टर तो अब दिल्ली की आंखों में धूल मत झोंकिए आपका इस्तीफा सुप्रीम कोर्ट के आपके चीफ मिनिस्टर की शक्ति हटाने के बाद आया है सीएम ना सीएम बनने का कोई मतलब ही नहीं हम लोग तो बहुत पहले से कह रहे थे कि इसे सीएम पद से छोड़ देना चाहिए जब आपको जेल हो गई थी भले किसी कारण से हुई आपको तो बहुत पहले मुख्यमंत्री के पद से छोड़ देना चाहिए था और अब बचा क्या है अब इनके जो सीएम पद का छोड़ने का है ये केवल एक नाटक है बेल देना सही है हम उसका भी समर्थन करते हैं और सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने भी दिया सुप्रीम कोर्ट को भी ये डर है कि ये आदमी जाकर जो जो सबूत है उसके खिलाफ उसको मिटा देगा ये डराएगा धमकाएगा जब मुख्यमंत्री जैसे व्यक्ति को कहा जाता है कि खबरदार तुम किसी गवाह के साथ मिले भी तो इसका मतलब है इसको एक आम क्रिमिनल की तरह एक तरीके से सुप्रीम कोर्ट ट्रीट कर रहा है so let's now throw this open to perhaps the finest panel of analysts who join me on this broadcast how do we view arvind kejriwal's decision to quit especially at a time when everyone was actually expecting him to rejig the delhi government rejig his party and then dive into the poll battle in haryana ahead of delhi joining me on this special broadcast is ashutosh ashutosh is a journalist is a political analyst was once with the aam aadmi party so he wears multiple hats rajat sethi joins me on a, on this broadcast as a political commentator tehsin punawala with me huda zariwala is an aam aadmi party supporter and a political analyst who joins us and also sayed zafar islam national spokesperson uh, of the bharatiya janata party former mp of the rajya sabha but let me begin by asking you ashutosh because perhaps you've been closest to Arvind Kejriwal, someone who's seen him function up close and personal, how do you view his resignation? I think it's a desperate attempt. It's a too late and too little. If I had to just define this, because uh, uh, if he had resigned when uh, ED had gone to arrest him, that would have been the ideal, the ideal situation. Because a chief minister saying that I will run uh, government from the jail, 
that's neither here nor there because that never happened in Indian politics and that should not happen in Indian politics. That's basically a violation of Indian constitution. One can always argue, can, can argue and say there's nothing written in the constitution. The chief minister goes to jail that he has to resign. But the fact of the matter is there is something called constitutional morality. There is something called soul of the constitution. He, by going, going to jail without resigning, has violated that the fundamentals of Indian politics. He has done it. And I think today he has realized that his, uh, his ground in Delhi is also slipping. And he should have realized that in a parliament election, despite being in, uh, in coalition with the Congress party, despite going to the jail and then coming out from the jail and campaigning, there was no sympathy for him. He lost uh, all seven seats like he lost in 2014, 2019. So that shows that he has realized that the assembly elections, there might be setback for him. Okay. And that is why he wants to regain his, the moral capital, which he has lost uh, substantially in the last few years. Who does Ariwala? The fact that Aam Admi Party is making this out to be a referendum on Arvind Kejriwal's honesty. Now, I want to understand, and before I bring in Huda Zariwala, Tehsin Poonawala, Aam Admi Party went on the same platform, jail ke badle vote, and Aam Admi Party got a big zero. Is this a desperate gamble by Arvind Kejriwal, which could well boomerang? Gaurav, thank you so much for having me on the show. And at the onset, I have one question for Arvind Kejriwal. Ji, why on a Sunday, when all of us want to want to take one day off, why on a Sunday? So maybe Kejriwal is trying to emulate the Prime Minister working seven days a week. But listen, I, Gaurav, and I'm going to use a phrase, one is either pregnant or not pregnant. You can't be half pregnant. So you resigned or not. After two days, ke baad resignation, I don't understand. I agree with Ashutosh. This is... I, I, I've seen Kejriwal ji um, uh, since the time, and I've always been a Congress supporter, since the time he was an activist, even before his role in the earlier avatar of IAC. And jo Kejriwal ji kehte wo bilkul nahi karte, aur jo nahi kehte wo 100% karte. So agar unhane kaha hai ki main resign karunga, I don't know if tomorrow the legislator party in Ashutosh will throw better light, will say, no, no, you cannot resign, everyone will start crying. Then they will do some referendum on WhatsApp or on SMS and they'll say, no, no, it's overwhelming. The people of Delhi don't want Kejriwal ji to resign. So my limited point is if you had to resign, you could have had the meeting, you could have had the legislator come out and declare it. This two days of speculation, in my opinion, as a political analyst, is Haryana elections are out. This is to take attention away, to get that attention. Because if somebody has to resign, God, you know, and you're, you, you're somebody who, who, who fights battles and political as well. You want to do it, you'll do it. You don't wait two days, three days. It's just a okay. lot of media speculation, media attention. But I have a larger point to make. Uh, Kejriwal ji obviously didn't resign as chief minister while he was in jail because he needed someone to fight and bear the cost of somebody fighting his case. That's my, uh, okay. that's my uh, reading of the situation. But now the Supreme Court has already said he doesn't have those powers that the chief minister has. And I disagree with the Supreme Court on that particular aspect. Welcome to that, that aspect of the Supreme Court in just a moment. But today I want to stay yeah. on that limited point of his resignation and... He's accusing the BJP, the entire Ahmadmi Party, Sayyid Zafar Islam, is accusing the BJP of political vendetta, being a government which is worse than the British were before 1947. And he drew parallels with Shaheed Azam Bhagat Singh, that he and, uh, you know, uh, Bhagat Singh and Batakweshwar Dutt were kept in the same prison. Arvind Kejriwal and Manish Sisodia have been kept in different prison cells, not allowed to meet. Uh, in case uh, he wrote a letter to the LG, he was told that his family visiting rights would be taken away. In case Sandeep Patak came to meet him, he was blacklisted. He's called the BJP government worse than the British. Sayyid Zafar Islam, I think you're on mute. I can't hear you, sir. Go on. Yeah, so can you hear me now? Yeah, loud and clear. Strength 5. Go on, sir. Savan, you, you heard uh, Sandeep Dixit. He's from Congress. And what did he say? He's a criminal. He's a corrupt man. I mean, this is what Congress spokesperson with them, they have a line, alliance. So con the alliance partner has this kind of opinion about him. Forget about what BJP said. Fact that he went to approach, he went uh, to a Supreme Court and approached the Supreme Court for two reliefs. Did he get two reliefs? He didn't get one, even one. He, he, he's, he's, a, he's a corrupt, he has been involved in corruption and Supreme Court has given no leeway. He has been told not to sit on chief ministerial seat and he has been barred from signing any, uh, anything to do with the chief minister. So he was left with no option but to resign. Okay. Because who is the sufferer? 
is the Delhi people of Delhi. And Delhi people know that he is, for the lust of power, he is just retaining his position as chief minister, even though he cannot function as the chief minister because he has been told by the honorable court that you cannot do that. Away from that, earlier when he was in jail, he was repeatedly saying that since he is in jail, he cannot function and the BJP is making this kind of allegation against BJP. But now the Honorable Supreme Court has delivered a judgment barring him from fun uh, discharging responsibility as the Chief Minister once he is out of the bail. Okay. So he has no, no room, headroom left to uh, make any kind of a statement. And so all this speculation... You say he, which had was, no he, was, he had no alternative. He had no alternative but to quit. So now, let, the second thing which is which, which I want to highlight that... What he has to, he has asked for 48 hours. He has made a statement that within 48 hours he'll make the announcement. Or after two days, but let me tell you, there's a lot of resentment within the rank and file of up because he is trying to push his wife Sunita Kajriwal to become chief minister, and he's also requested the election commission to conduct the election in November because there will okay. be no election for his wife. So all this stand will backfire. And his own left in end within the rank and file of up will. Let me take that accept. once again to Ashutosh before I bring in Rajat Sethi. Ashutosh, is that how you view this? Why is he seeking another 48 hours? And who could be his likely successor? Uh, Sunita Kejriwal, as the BJP seems to insist, or Atishi or Saurabh Bharadwaj or someone within the party? See, it basically it defies logic because if he had to resign, then he should have resigned immediately after getting out of the jail. Uh, he didn't. He didn't do that. Now he's uh, he's. He's thinking that he will resign after 48 hours or after two days. What is the logic? I don't understand that. The, 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 matter, the, the fact of the matter is that if today Arvind Kejriwal decides to resign, that would cut more ice with the people. Otherwise, the people will keep guessing for another 48 hours why he is resigning after. And BJP has already made, made an issue out of it. Yes. BJP has already said, what is, what is this about 48 hours? So does he want to create a kind of a emotional drama around that people will come to the house, people will come to the office, people will come here, people will start crying here and there. No, Arvind Kejriwal, don't resign, don't resign, don't resign. And then is he going to take back the resignation after 48 hours? I don't understand this. Can it be like that? Uh, you I'm think not, so? I'm not, I'm not saying anything, but that, that, because that has been the, the, the politics in this country. People resign and then after 48 hours, after three days, five days, they said, people want me to continue as a chief minister, as a prime minister, so I'm continuing with that. That has happened many times in Indian politics. If that is the template, I don't understand that. The fact of the matter is that today, Arvind Kejriwal is, uh, is somebody who has been pushed to the corner. Yes. Uh, and in the, in the eyes of the public, he does not hold the similar image which he carried in 2015 assembly election, 2020 assembly election, and both the times he got 67 out of uh, 70, 60 out of, which is huge Absolutely. numbers. But today, you look at him, there are serious corruption charges on him. His uh, number two, Mr. Manish Sashodhya, had been in jail for more than one and a half years. And people must be questioning this. And then it, there is also a, a chief minister's residence. That somebody who has been saying that uh, the chief minister should live in a two-room flat, you are living in a in a kind of a, a sish mahal. So yes. these are the visual symbols, and he has to answer this question. So this uh, this template of the most uh, honest chief minister, I think, with these corruption charges and the sish mahal, it's not going with him at all. Interesting, you should point that out. And Huda Zariwala uh, now joins us on the broadcast. And um, Huda Zariwala. Political analysts uh, on, on the broadcast very clearly say Arvind Kejriwal is trying to make a virtue out of a necessity. He was pushed to a corner. He has very serious corruption charges against him and that is why he chose to quit. Respond to that, ma'am. Well, honestly, Aam Aadmi Party's chief convener, uh, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal ji, is in fact still the most popular Aam Aadmi Party leader. Okay, ma'am, give us a moment. There seems to be a network issue. Uh, uh, we'll try and reestablish that link with you. But uh, let me take this to Rajat Sethi. Rajat, uh, Rajat Sethi. Okay, uh, uh, okay, Tessin, you have your finger up. Uh, you want to respond to uh, Huda Zariwala saying that uh, Arvind Kejriwal is the most popular Aam Aadmi Party leader. He has massive support and he's willing to give this Agni Pariksha. Why should either the BJP or Congress be upset with this Agni Pariksha? Listen, Gaurav, I don't like this word Agni Pariksha. When Maryada Purushottam asked Ma Sita to go for an Agni Pariksha, he didn't say after two days or three days. This is, you know, Agni Pariksha is a very pious thing. It's not for politicians to use. 
he is doing politics arvin kejriwal with due respect to him and i agree with ashutosh wo do din baad agar bol diya ke nahi nahi ab sab chahte main hi mukhyamantri ho i only remain chief minister this is not agni pariksha what arvin kejriwal ji is doing is trying to build a perception his name is damage and i'll tell you what he's scared about he's scared about shish mahal now coming up because here is here obviously in this liquor gate there was nothing the bjp completely misused agencies to go behind him but in shish mahal many things will come out at least perceptionally uh, curtains worth 15 lakhs a uh, commode worth 3 4 lakh rupees and all of that will come out so that perception to avoid that perception he is doing this because shish mahal is the next attack that the bjp is going to do liquor gate also is backfired on the bjp but ultimately he is doing this for politics he is doing this for haryana elections and he is trying to build a bigger band because his brand is affected that is the bottom line of it i am again telling you jo kejriwal ji nahi kehte wo karte aur jo karte wo 100% okay. nahi kehte remember he had promised that he will not take uh, do an alliance with the congress any day and i'm not against it i'm for the india alliance but don't trust politicians and it's no agni but, but he wanted an alliance in haryana and this time it's the congress that doesn't want to do an alliance no no we don't want it we don't want it congress doesn't want an alliance sir uh, yeah, congress doesn't it. want it aam aadmi party wanted that alliance in haryana which is not yes. happening but uh, sir yes this negotiation did happen and a very serious negotiation happened it, it just broke down but uh, sir zafar islam you wanted to come in on this point that the liquor gate taint is not sticking because there is no there is no evidence that follows through in terms of where was that money how was that money used where was it spent what about the remaining money aam aadmi party insists it's it's all in the air well all this uh, statement has been put to bed by the honorable supreme court so there is no way we shall the, he can make this kind of statement that there is not enough evidence available as far as liquor gate is concerned but having said that i heard the the aam aam aadmi aadmi spokesperson or somebody said that uh, the lady said uh, dariwala said that he is a very popular leader still a very popular leader in uh, of aam aadmi party yes it may be popular leader among aam aadmi party and cadre but in the eyes of the people of delhi he is no more i, I completely agree with ashutosh ji what when he said what image he used to carry in 2013 14 15 is no longer valid in 2024 because he at that time he was fighting against corruption but nobody knew that his ultimate objective is is a lust of power he wanted to become the chief minister of uh, delhi and he used several shoulders to to uh, climb climb to this position and after that whatever the ultimate objective he had to okay. do corruption make money tons of money which he did and to the, and finally he wanted to send people jail chila dikti radar to jail eventually he had to go behind the bar and that is what the truth the uh, people of delhi has realized and now delhi people of delhi will not will punish him Okay. And whatever stunt he has done, it will backfire on him. People will punish him for misleading me, people you know, of Delhi and did you, nothing you, for them. Since you named uh, uh, Huda Zariwala, let me quickly get her to respond to what you've said and complete her point. Uh, since we lost a link, before I come to Rajat Sethi, um, uh, Huda Zariwala, it's not the same. Arvind Kejriwal, as of of 2015, is point one. Point two that's being made is the same referendum. Jail ke badle vote. Backfired in Lok Sabha elections where the Aam Aadmi Party got zero of seven. Well, Lok Sabha pattern, you know, the Delhi Janta has a pattern that they vote. Um, you know, Lok Sabha, none of the uh, India Alliance members were able to win. It was also the Congress who lost, along with Aam Aadmi Party. But that being said, the Vidhan Sabha for the past three terms, we've been seeing back to back, you know, Arvind Kejriwal's. popularity in fact increasing this is not even the first time he is submitting his uh, resignation if he so chooses to do you know two days later on um this you remember a couple of years ago when he had submitted his resignation he was in fact elected in a much larger margin you know massive voters came out and chose him as the beloved chief minister of delhi so if he uh, in fact does resign delhi vidhan sabha chunav is just on the corner we know for a fact that he is going to contest and obviously win again because this is one man who has stood by his words he okay. has worked for the janta of delhi he has worked for everything that you know stands for development and inclusion and health and education and women empowerment creating jobs creating opportunities all of that this man has done it all he is rajat sethi rajat sethi wants to respond deny. to you rajat rajat sethi this man has done it all he's a man of his word says uh, uh, you know huda zariwala and that is why he has the support of the people of delhi whether it was 67 of 70 earlier or 62 of 70 in the last elections first of all i absolutely love the adjectives that were 
uh, you know bestowed on the beloved arvind kejriwal of new delhi and uh, it was it sounded adorable and cute but the reality has has shifted and now let me wear my analytical hat here uh, you know um, i was part of the mood of the nation assessment uh, the graph the popularity graph of kejriwal not just in new delhi but around the country he was seen even above uh, rahul gandhi at a point in time in the race to uh, to be the principal uh, face of the opposition but that has plummeted down down to 6 7% so and that is not just contained uh, within delhi it's a pan india affair within delhi i think you know what kejriwal would be sensing here is i don't know first of all i don't know what the contours of his resignation is is the entire cabinet going to resign and they are calling in a snap poll or is he going to have a dummy chief minister the way he has it in punjab and then carry on and have the election again in february first there would all, be another out. chief but minister is what arvind kejriwal said punjab is definitely so, most definitely not second, a dummy cm one second one punjab second allow me to complete not have a the decency okay. madam okay. have okay. the decency to listen to a voter of new delhi well i'm just i'm just taking i am a voter of new delhi okay. Okay. Please, okay. please okay. give me okay. one by one for you sir one by one ma'am muzzle the voice on national television of a voter of new delhi please have the patience madam i also happen to be the voter of new delhi and Again, i have my own fact this matter please go ahead have the patience i vote also counts please go ahead the point is Agreed, uh, arvind kejriwal is saying counts. that there is an avalanche of support the support has plummeted sharply and because of uh, you know the principal plank that he had come to power was anti corruption if his principal plank is called into question and there are all other aspects like the infrastructure is crumbling we have seen how student deaths around uh, uh, you know uh, uh, karol bag area impacted ma'am one by one let him complete yeah. his point i'll just come uh, to you to uh, respond he, to that you know right now he has triple nt incumbency first of all at the national level he has uh, gone down even at the state level and at the local municipality level it at every level he is facing massive anti incumbency there okay. have been assessments done and those assessments also show that he needs to do something absolutely dramatic in order to create some kind of a shock uh, event in delhi so that he can go back to the public and have a plank uh, a sacrificial plank that yes i sacrifice something and i'm coming to you those Ashutosh, sacrifices is just a matter of months but i think this is, is where triple, he's, he's okay. using it cleverly is is that triple incumbency that's working against him and you know has he been pushed entirely to the wall also that plank that he he's the crusader against corruption in this issue whether it is the liquor taint or as uh, some describe it that you know that palatial uh, bungalow at uh, flagstaff road are those issues that will hurt arvind kejriwal in your appreciation see more than the liquor the sea smell thing will 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 damage more because sea smell thing has got the visual impact uh, we are living in a, in a visual era that 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 picture itself is speaks thousand words uh, more than a thousand words the, the fact today is that arvind kejriwal is and aam aadmi party is going to face almost 11 years of anti incumbency almost 11 years because he was a chief minister in 2013 for, for, for 49 days then 2015 onwards yes. till now so that 10 years is a huge 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 time period for any government to create a kind of anti incumbency the similar thing which happened with the narendra modi mm. uh, despite so much propaganda and everything the people had a different view point because after 10 years the people will judge you that the promises you made in 2015 the promises you made in 2020 have you delivered or not Mm. if those are not delivered then people will vote on that whether there is the arvind kejriwal or no arvind kejriwal i can understand that arvind kejriwal is still the most popular leader in delhi there is no doubt about it okay. absolutely no doubt within within amadi party and outside amadi party but the, the, but the but his popularity will be judged on the basis of his delivery i'm not going to say whether he has delivered or not delivered that's that that's a dif- uh, discussion about the different thing but that is going to decide whether people are im- thinking that has he delivered or not that that's one point and if he's thinking that this will generate a new kind of sympathy for him i also think that is not going to happen the sympathy was sympathy did not work in parliamentary election okay. sympathy will not work in assembly election minor here and there that's a different thing altogether okay 